April 7, 2024 Second Sunday of Easter Sunday of Divine Mercy A reading from the Acts of the Apostles The community of believers was of one heart and mind. And no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power the Apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them. For those who owned property or houses would sell them. Bring the proceeds of the sale. And put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Respond is, give praise to the Lord for he is good, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say. His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say. His mercy endures forever. Give praise to the Lord for he is good, his mercy endures forever. The Lord's right hand has done mighty deeds. I shall not die. I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord punished me, punished me severely, but not hand over to death. Give praise to the Lord for he is good, his mercy endures forever. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. A marvel in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give praise to the Lord for he is good, his mercy endures forever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world. But the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies. And the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst, and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. And whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside. And Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. And bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples. That are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe. That Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God.
and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord Insights from today's readings Acts offers a glimpse into the early Christian community shortly after the Pentecost, following the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostles. This passage describes the unity and generosity that characterized the believers in Jerusalem. The believers are depicted as being of one heart and mind, emphasizing their unity in purpose and spirit. This unity led to a remarkable level of communal living, where individuals did not claim exclusive ownership of their possessions but shared everything they had in common. This communal living was not forced but arose from a genuine sense of care and concern for one another. The passage also highlights the powerful witness of the Apostles to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Their preaching was accompanied by signs and wonders, which garnered them great favor and respect among the people. One of the most striking aspects of this community was its commitment to caring for the needy among them. Through voluntary acts of selling property and possessions, the believers ensured that there was no one in need within their community. The proceeds from these sales were brought to the Apostles, who then distributed them according to each person's needs. 1 John emphasizes the interconnectedness of faith, love, and obedience. True faith in Jesus is not merely intellectual assent but leads to a life characterized by love for God and others, as evidenced through obedience to God's commandments. This passage also highlights the victory over the world that comes through faith in Jesus Christ, emphasizing the role of the Holy Spirit in bearing witness to the truth of Jesus' identity and work. John provides a first-hand account of Jesus' resurrection appearances and the significance of believing in the risen Lord. Through encounters with the disciples, including the doubting Thomas, Jesus emphasizes the importance of faith in his resurrection and divine identity. This passage underscores the transformative power of encountering the risen Christ, leading to a confession of faith and a deeper understanding of Jesus' mission together. These passages offer profound insights into the nature of Christian faith, the impact of Jesus' resurrection, and the transformative power of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers. They remind us of the importance of living out our faith through love, obedience, and a steadfast belief in the risen Christ.